It's 10 o'clock on the 26th of December. I'm just showing you plants I've got in the garage, still sort of in flower, although they've just sort of been static for a while because they've been sort of kept in well in the colder conditions. But you can see geranium still full flower. And these chrysanthemums are still in full flower, that geranium. So they're not doing too bad. I've kept them indoors. They've been all right. So outside, we'll have a look. <coughs> It's quite been quite cold overnight. Um, just get the key here in my pocket for oh, this garage door. It's quite it's a breeze for the first time, and it's quite a cold breeze today. But it's clear skies, which is nice. So um, yeah, I just this morning down there. We see that little air brick thing is. That's my little thing where I've got designed with a lid on. This little mouse trap. I've got another one there. Another one there. And um, yeah, I got a mouse in that one this morning. So I was just uh, changing that over, sorting that out. I have to keep on top of them around the house, I think. Yeah. So. It's. Um, the ground's a little bit hard, so there was like a little frost overnight. The air temperature didn't get below zero. Minimum was 1.5, 1.5. But it obviously still had a ground frost effect. Current temperature is 4.4. So that's at 10 o'clock on the 26th of December, which is Monday. breeze it's a few little branches just little twigs uh, come off the tree a bit here look pick them up there's a few you can see over the past few days just little twigs was coming off it's amazing just sheds them Just like little, yeah, little tiny ones, but if you look at that little pile there. <coughs> See the new buds coming on each branch there. For the spring. bottom of the twisted hazel and this is the bottom of the big conifer which we cut last summer to the twisted hazel all the little twisted branches if you if you cut the um, straight ones it just has the twisted ones but that we haven't done that we've got a mixture Sixth of December today. And these are these fizzy bottles you just fizzed up. Is that right? It's your these birthday. We'll have to Happy dem birthday. demonstration of that later. Oh, thank you, Justine. Yes, it's your birthday. Your birthday. Very good. Your birthday. So I've been on a while. Um, just sort trying to sort out a leak that in this. Uh, just, this is an interesting torch. You just pull up the like a standing light thing, a battery powered thing. You just pull up the thing, and then. Uh, you can stand it and it helps to see things but um yeah so the leak is no longer there because this is a paper towel so i can see the leaks between the black connecting and then the white connecting and eventually i managed to get it to seal using a new rubber washer which i had off an old i uh, had off a previous um shower connector when i was clarking on with the showers but it's a complicated thing this because you got the that sink coming down and then you've got the the second sink coming down. There's two plug holes here. And then you've also got the dishwasher feeding in here. Uh, anyway, that's what was all fine, but it was this bit here had to disconnect. And it was the washer 
and different things in their configuration in there, which wasn't quite right. So it seems to be okay now. That's taken a while to sort out. So yeah. Anyway. And uh, I'll just show you this as well. So that I, Justina, the children made me little birthday cards. And now uh, you got Mary's one there, talking about Pete and what have you. And you got Alice's one, about water that leads. And geography and things. And you got Stephanie's colourful one. There. But then Justina's painted one with acrylic paint of St. Mary's Lighthouse. It's absolutely incredible that she's, she's drawn and painted that. I mean, um, unbelievable, isn't it? Huh? St. Mary's Island. Uh, and that's a little card, a card that she's done. It's, it's an incredible bit of work. The detail and all that and how she's done it. So yeah. 